So this is, as you said, the cinematic spinoff of the Horrible Histories TV show, which has been on CBBC since 2009. I think it was off briefly and then it came back. And that in itself is based on the book series created by Terry Deary. There's about 60 different editions so. of that. And it, they were mostly written in the 90s and early 2000s. And they were really popular when I was growing up. And I just loved them and devoured them all. And the thing that I really like about Horrible Histories is that I was a giant history nerd <laughs> growing up, but I also got very bored by the school curriculum because, and this might be completely different now, but I feel like it was just Tudors, 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 Industrial Revolution, Tudors, 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 World Wars. And so Horrible Histories is how I got my history as a child and you know they they went through all the different eras and they had like the savage saxons and gorgeous Ge sorry the smashing saxons and the gorgeous georgians mm -hmm. and what was so great about them is that yes they drew in the kids by promising them all these like gory facts and like disgusting things and horror but then actually the history was pretty good it, it never whitewashed history and Horrible Histories is where I learn about you know, all the brutality of the British Empire, which was conveniently not on the school curriculum. Uh, and so what I really liked about this film is that I really felt like all those elements that I really appreciated in Horrible Histories were transferred over. And so it is really silly and there's all these gross out moments, but also the, the history is pretty solid. And I can say that as somebody who has a degree in ancient history. So I have a little bit of expertise there, mm. but the time it takes place in is it's during the uprising of Boudicca, played by Kate Nash, during the the reign of Emperor Nero, who's played by Craig Roberts. And it's seen Hello. through the eyes of two teenagers, Atti, played by Sebastian Croft, and who is a Roman banished to Britain because he displeased Nero. And Britain is apparently a, going to Britain is a punishment worse than death. Yeah. I quite enjoyed. It. <laughs> and uh, also Orla, played by Amelia Jones, who is a Celt who's just desperate to join Boudicca and defend Britain against the Romans. And so the tone is very consistent with the TV show. There's that same sort of extra silly pun filled humour that really feels like quite classic and embracing of the legacies of Monty Python and mm -hmm. Black Adder. There's jokes about Roman numerals, like it's a high V instead of a high five. <laughs> and there's a military unit that they keep calling the X Men, so it's like I X yeah. nine. <laughs> it's really nerdy, <laughs> and then there's all the gross out moments, which for the Romans means, you know, like throwing up at the dinner table and the infamous sponge on a stick. Oh which, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, I'll leave you to Google that. But um, it, it's that kind of humor. And it's very good spirited humor, and I think as well the thing is the joke rates. The joke rate is so high that mm. there's always going to be something that you laugh at. And that's very much the approach of the show, I think. And there's a lot of the same creative talent here. For example, director Dominic Brigstock and writers Giles Pilbro and Caroline Norris. And there's a lot of the similar approach to the cast with a lot of familiar faces like Nick Frost, Kim Cattrall, Lee Mack, Rupert Graves, Warwick Davis, Derek Jacobi, some guy called Sanjeev Bresco. Yes, yeah, Sanjeev something yeah, pops up know, in there. Familiar. But I think the one small problem this film has is that because it's so close to the sketch show that it's trying really hard to stretch that out into a hour and a half narrative. And each little scene works quite well as a sketch. But then when you string that all together, it feels a little bit disjointed. There are musical numbers like in the show and they just kind of pop out of nowhere. But I think overall, I think I enjoyed the humor of it at least and the history Great. of it was good and i feel like it's good for kids educate um, yourself listen my kids loved it i have to say i loved it craig roberts made me cry with laughter as nero i thought he was hilarious he's so good and sanjeev and doing the world's longest wee when next time i see him we're good we, we need yeah, a discussion about it very good